YouTube. Hi, my name is Mark and this is Nixon Motorsports. This channel is all about motorsports from racing to exotic cars and even simulators. So today's video, I'm going to review with you the 2022 winter project for the Formula 1000 race car. Got a handful of things to talk about, so with that, let's get into it, come on. So as I walk around the Formula 1000, you've seen many videos on this. The car is starting to be uh, dismantled, as you can see, a lot of bodywork is off at the moment. Um, so I have a handful of things going on this winter. Let me talk to you about um, the upgrades and just some items that we'll be working on over the winter. Instead of making this a very, very long video, um, I'm just going to talk about the items that we'll be working on this year and there'll be different videos that will be released for each of those items. So that allows you to, you know, watch what you're interested in, that type of thing. So first, um, in prep for next year, uh, on the maintenance side. So uh, the motor that's in the car at the moment, it's a, a great running motor. Uh, it's a 21. Um, it's just, uh, it needs a refresh. That's all it is, uh, miles and hours on it. So one change will be to pull this engine out and I'll be putting in a fresh new motor uh, that I have for the car. So that's one item. And I'll, I'll bring you along again, just show you all as much as I can, a lot of the details that I go through in prepping the motor, in um, you know, installing the motor and so on. The second item will be, um, and this is really a maintenance item. So I use a Qualf uh, differential in here. Um, this unit, uh, this unit just has a few miles on it, so I'm simply going to remove uh, and install a fresh, um, new actually, differential in the car. Um, so that's another item. Um, I did this last year too, I'll be doing it again. I'm going to put new floor and diffuser in the car. So um, if you remember last year seeing uh, the, this floor and, and diffuser that I did put on the car, um, works well. Uh, there was some improvements with it. Um, I like these little flip-ups here, trying to channel some air um, uh, around the, the profile of, of the floor itself. The new floor and diffus diffuser have an updated profile. Um, in the theory, um, they'll move airflow um, through and around the car a little better. Um, so that's one reason I'm doing it. The other reason is um, my left side floor was damaged the last race out and uh, you know it happens. It wasn't my fault necessarily. It was going through scrutineering uh, tech and uh, going over the scales. They had a little mishap in getting my car over the platform. So anyway, um, new floor, new diffuser. Um, they'll, they'll have a video on that itself. Then two other items. Um, if you remember last year, I had a video on moving away from the curly cord steering wheel, um, you know, for all the IO of your steering wheel um, to the race car itself for the data side, right? So here's what I mean by the curly cord, right? And, and last year, I put a spa, um, I'll call it cordless or wireless hub in place. I've used those many times. And unfortunately, the pins and the, the apparatus that actually holds the receptacle in place, you know, the, the mating connector inside the shaft moved and the pins bent, actually took me out of a race. So that was quite, quite annoying. So one of, one of the items this winter will be to replace and try to go um, to a new device this time. And so Crontech makes a um, wireless um, or cordless hub, steering wheel hub. I've heard great reviews about it. They're kind of pricey. Um, here's one of the mating connectors itself here. Um, and I'm gonna install that in the car. I, I think that's um, a good move. Look, the curly cord thing works. It's just, it's annoying having that cord flopping around, um, around your legs when you're driving, that kind of thing. And I like to be able to take the steering wheel off completely and just set it aside, right? So. Anyway, so that's another item. The last item for the winter project list <laughs> is braking system this year. So um, first, I have an awesome braking system in the car. Um, let me just pan down, you can see one of the calipers here. So I use 
four piston uh, Willwood. Um, I use solid rotors, floating hat rotors, and believe it or not, I get about three G's in braking. Um, you know, at right temperatures and that type of thing. So the braking system is quite good. I just want to see if I could improve it a little bit. Mostly, uh, uh, not necessarily a greater braking gain or efficiency, but just a pedal feel. And so I'll be installing um, a pretty, pretty cool, um, pretty high-end pedal assembly and new master cylinders, uh, you know, the whole gamut, right? Some uh, re re-plumbing and so on for the pedal assembly itself for the braking system. So um, I think uh, that one might be interesting uh, to a few of you and I'll, I'll show you all those steps on the way and why we're doing that. So that's the bulk of the winter project this year. It, it's a few items. Um, I think you'll enjoy some of that and um, um, look forward to those videos, of course, over the uh, weeks and so on ahead, okay? Hey, I wanna talk about this small little thing quickly. This is a racing radio, okay? Probably could have done a video on this itself. I've tried multiple radios over the years um, and I'm sure many of you have as well. And I've found that the Motorola radios, uh, Motorola radios by far have been the best. Now, there might be a few others out there that I just haven't tried. Um, my newest change and upgrade was to this Motorola, the CP200. Now, I just did this a uh, month or so ago. Why did I do it? Um, see if I can improve radio communication primarily. Um, Race cars typically have an issue, um, and that is line of sight for radio, which means um, certain elevation or obstructions on the track might be difficult then for your crew uh, to actually communicate with you. Um, so I've had old, older Motorola radios for quite a few years. This is a digital radi radio by Motorola. Again, the CP200. Um, you have your own dedicated frequencies. That's normal, all racers do. So you have your own frequency um, that you'll broadcast on. And I gotta tell you, I love these radios. If you haven't uh, swapped or if you're thinking of a radio change, um, these CP200s are awesome. Um, super clear and the range is definitely extended. I can hear now in parts of the track that I've not been able to hear from before. So I uh, just wanted to call that out. You might wanna look at these if you have any interest, okay? So before I wrap up this video, um, a couple items, just newsworthy items. So, um, you know, it is December now. Uh, here in Texas, um, on-track access is there, but weather is uh, usually an issue, right? So I'll, I'll use this next two months roughly just to get uh, the car prepped and ready for the season. So um, the first race up next year will be uh, Circuit of the Americas in February. Now it's early February. Um, I've been there before in February. It can be chilly, you know, track conditions could be questionable. I love that track though. So we're gonna go down there. We're gonna see what we can do. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting or hoping that I can make uh, some significant gains over what I've done over the years past. So, so look forward to that. Um, I will be hosting a private uh, track day here at Eagles Canyon um, uh, later in February, and that will be for racers only. Um, and uh, it will be a small, small group of, of racers coming out here just doing some hardcore testing. Uh, so it, for that particular event, on our side, uh, you'll see some video activity. If you've seen the Avon Tire videos that I posted, there's still some uncertainty on that, and I'll provide some updates as I, I see them. But I'm going to be using that February session, that, uh, that hardcore test day session, to do some back-to-back -back comparisons on uh, Hoosiers, and Avon tires. And uh, this isn't rocket science. You know, Hoosier has been around for a long time. I've raced on them many times in the past. They have a new compound slightly. Uh, there are 25s now in the colder range. What now they call it an R20. 
Um, I want to see what the performance of the tire is going to do on now my setup on my car. So that that uh, February session will will be primarily focused on uh, doing some tire comparisons. So you'll see that. If you if you remember earlier this year, um, I talked about and planned on going to the Paul Ricard racetrack um, around April, May of 22, and that was postponed. I had some, uh, let's just say, logistical challenges, right? Um, and the purpose of that, if, if you recall that message, um, I, I'm hell-bent on climbing in a relatively modern Formula One race car. I just want to experience it. I think that's uh, something extreme if anybody can do that, right? So I intend uh, and hope that this year, around the same time period, uh, next April, May, uh, I'll be able to get out to the Paul Ricard track. And uh, it's an all-day event. If that happens, clearly I'll be dragging you along on that so you can experience that, uh, that with me, right? So that's on the list. Several other um, tips and lessons learned and all kinds of other videos that I have queued up. You know, I say that because if you have ideas, and some of you have done this, if there's things that would be beneficial to you, um, send me a note, send a comment uh, uh, through, through the channel, and um, you know, I'll be happy to try to, to do that and, and cue different types of videos in, you know, such as additional setup details um, on chassis and, and that type of thing. So um, that gives you a few ideas on just newsworthy updates, okay? All right. That's it for this video. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, please do so, will you? Uh, at least consider doing so. I, I would really appreciate that. Um, I know this channel is not for everybody, um, but those of you who have uh, supported this channel, I want to thank you right this minute very much for doing so. Um, and I really appreciate not only the comments, but the conversations that I've had, those that I've met, um, just because of the channel activity and what I've been doing. So a shout out to all of you and a thank you um, for all of the support and comments um, for doing so. All right, so that's it for now. And um, until next time, ciao.